Hi, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to show you how to set up cloud storage on our Hikvision DVR. So this is a free service providing you got your free cloud storage. I'm going to show you how to get that. And we're going to show you how to link it all together. So you've got a little bit of extra layer of security. So why would you need cloud storage? Uh, it's not necessary, but just in case your hard drive was to unfortunately get stolen or corrupted, then it's just an extra layer of protection, an extra layer of visual representation of what's happened. So let's show you how to do that. All right then. So first of all, we want to log on to our DVR. So we do that through SADP tool. You can get that from the Hikvision website. There's a link on our website, very readily, readily available. And we see our DVR here and we just get the IP address make sure DHCP is enabled, and then we can put it into our uh, web browser. So 10.44.205, okay, let's do that. Okay, first of all though, before we do that, you would have to sign up for a Dropbox account. Just dropbox.com, sign up for a free account, you get up to two terabytes worth of data, uh, gigabytes worth of data, and and that's more than enough for to, to get you going. Uh, just go to dropbox.com and sign up for a free account. That's what I've done here, a brand new account. So let's go back to our DVR. Okay, so we go into the web browser, we type 10.44.205, and then we can log in from here. All right then, so we're on our DVR. So first of all, we need to configure the cloud storage. All right, so we go to storage, storage management, cloud storage. Okay then. So make sure enable cloud storage is ticked. We click Dropbox. And now the important part is here, we need the authorization code. So to get this code, it's simple and click on get, but just make sure you have Dropbox open in your browser and we can click on get. All right then, so we go to allow, get this code, and then we put it into the authorization code here. Okay then. So make sure your camera is set up to record and make sure event enable event upload is ticked. Save that. Okay, then save successful. That means now our DVR is linked to our Dropbox online in the cloud. Okay then, so to activate this feature, what we have to do is activate some sort of motion detection, uh, which will give us an alert that something's happened. Okay then. So I'm sure loads of you have done this before, but I'll show you how to do that now. So we go to event, and we're on motion already, perfect. So what we need to do is, is enable this so pretend our DVR is here and someone's coming to steal it. We want a, a quick snapshot of the person just so we got that in the cloud for our own reference. Okay. So make sure enable motion detection and then enable dynamic analysis for motion is ticked. And we want to draw a quick box here. All right, then so we draw a box. Okay, save. Okay. Now the important part here is the linkage method. All right then. So what we need to make sure is ticked is upload pictures to cloud. Audible warning is just there so we, we know it's happening while we're testing it. And uh, make sure trigger recording A1 is selected. Okay, it's all pre-selected for me here. So just double check that, save. All right, so now we've set up our Dropbox online. We've set up our motion detection. All we have to do is test it. So let, let's see what happens. If you heard that beep, that means the motion was detected and it sent a snapshot to our Dropbox account. So let's go to Dropbox and see what's happened. Oh, as you see here, it's already said snapshot. That was quick. So we go here, we click on here, camera A1. Okay, sometimes it does take a bit of a time for the files to come on Dropbox, so just be patient. Or we could just download it. Sometimes this works. Okay, then you see download that folder. Okay, like I said, sometimes Dropbox can be a bit slow, so be be patient with it. Okay, let's try again. Hmm. Not a good news. I just had a 
gone from my supplier. Someone allocated their stock and they took their stock as well. Okay, there we go. Like I said, just be a bit patient. Now here you see, we've got a snapshot. Boom, there I am. And that's on the cloud storage now. So you don't have to worry about anyone stealing this or maybe some hackers, but that, that, that's something we're not going to be able to help you with, I'm afraid. So I hope you learned something today and hopefully increase your security as well, just an extra layer. And thank you and see you next time. Bye-bye.